grills. Now that's something I could get my teeth into. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, I've been tempted to have a go at designing, printing and casting a grill for a while now. I even considered making one for my wife's tooth. She's very proud of it and cleans it every month, whether it needs it or not. However, my buddy too over at Print and Pour had a better suggestion. A client of his, Instagrammer Charlotte Moran, was looking to have something designed and he asked if I fancied working with her. Well, after several cold showers, I jumped at the chance. As I was sprucing myself up, dusting off my bottle of Old Spice aftershave and finishing off my fourth bottle of mouthwash, to emailed me a 3D scan of Charlotte's teeth. Oh well, so much for meeting the client. It seems Charlotte had used a simple mold kit and two had used this to create a 3D scan. Charlotte wanted a spider's web design on her right lateral incisor. And this wasn't going to be easy for me as I was working on a very small canvas. One way to do this is to build up wax over a physical mold, as we can see in this video by YouTuber Grills Germany. However, I already had a perfectly good 3D digital model to work off, and CAD is the way I really wanted to go. Personally, I'm using ZBrush, though Blender is a good free alternative. I initially toyed with building up the design on the tooth with virtual clay, but I felt there was a better alternative. So instead, I drew out a mask on the tooth. ZBrush enabled me to extract this into a separate subtool, which stood approximately one millimeter above the face of the tooth. It may look a little harsh and angular at this point, but that's nothing to worry about. I could clean it up here in the design, but to be honest, the whole thing is surprisingly thin, and once filed, tumbled and polished, all the edges will be suitably smooth. Luckily for me, Charlotte was happy with this design, but as I still felt the creative juices flowing, I wondered about adding a spider to the design. Now I could have had a go at designing my own spider, but heading over to printables.com, I found this excellent free spider design by Jason C. Kessler, and it looked perfect for my needs. All I needed to do was rescale it and rearrange the various legs so that they sat neatly upon the web. It was an ambitious design, probably very impractical, but something that I shared with my YouTube and Instagram followers. Sure enough, you guys wanted me to cast both versions, and who am I to argue? However, I knew that these spider's legs were very thin, and even though I tried thickening them in places, I felt printing them would be extremely difficult. So I turned to my Mars 4 Ultra, with its crazily impressive 18 microns of XY resolution. Warning, if you do not want a chance to win an amazing Elegoo Mars 9K 3D resin printer, then do not watch the video below. You have been warned. I opted to use Soriatech Cast Castable Resin, and I was delighted to find Soriatech approved settings on Leechy. However, I fancied 0.03 height, rather than the standard 0.05, as this figure gives me much finer detail. You can go lower than this, but for me that just dramatically increases the print time without providing any obvious visual improvements. I've also found as a general rule, if you have the 0.05 figure, just subtract 10% from this for a suitable 0.03 setting. And that's what I have here.
I gently began mopping away excess resin with the prints still attached to the plate. It's worth mentioning at this stage that I printed two of each design, just in case one failed or in case I butchered one with clumsy clipping. More importantly, I did not make any allowances for shrinkage, either with the print or in the metal casting. Now many of you may disagree with me here, but I felt as this was a single tooth already on the small side, it wasn't worth the bother. If this had been a larger set, then I would have probably experimented with one or two percent. And sure enough, the Mars worked its magic for me and printed those amazingly spindly legs. I used wax sprues and probably far too many. Maybe one good sprue at the bottom would have been enough, but given the thin details, I added an additional top sprue just in case. You'll also notice that there's only three prints now as one took a nosedive off my workbench and has now been lost in a dog's digestive tract. This is an experiment, so I'm using scrap silver rather than dental silver, which would have been preferable. I really didn't expect these castings to work. I'll level with you guys, I was really struggling to work with these castings. They were way too tiny for my meaty fingers, and more appropriately, they were much too small for me to see properly. The legs on the spider were roughly a third of a millimetre in places, so I was terrified any cleanup work would tear them apart. So I opted for a few hour spin in the magnetic polisher. Here we have a resin print of Charlotte's teeth, so let's see how this goes. Well, it works. These might not be a perfect fit, but I'm no professional. I can see a couple of areas where I'd like to tweak the design, and the scrap silver has resulted in a few tiny flaws. But overall, the principle is there. I love the spider, but I just don't have the tools or the skills to clean it up properly. But I am delighted with the overall look of it. Luckily, Charlotte won't receive any of my castings. Instead, I'll be sending the CAD file off to my buddy too, and he will do a professional job of casting and fitting it for her. If we're lucky, maybe they'll share some photos with us. But that ends my first stab at Grill's design. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So take care guys, and thanks for watching.